I welcome you to our first Indigenous Arts Conference. It's not fancy and I don't want it to be. I just want it to be free, comfortable and inclusive. I want it to reach Indigenous women who cannot afford or do not have the opportunity to participate in Indigenous Arts Workshops. I want us to work together and demand recognition as the sole caretakers of the most ancient art forms on Turtle Island. We're the real history of this land and our ways of knowing are valuable and they're to be protected. The idea that, that for Indigenous women there was a big interruption in the transference of knowledge and um, that interruption stopped us from having our languages, um, from learning from our mothers and our grandmothers, making those basic things that we should have come with, we didn't get to have because of that interruption. Specifically, um, the residential school system and the 60s scoop and um, separated our mothers from us. And being a part of that group, I really felt it important, especially with the momentum that we have now. Um, indigenous women are, are resurging and uh, we're moving forward in a way that I think the timing for this conference was perfect. And the women that came, they came not knowing how to do stuff. You know, to see them march through this mall um, together as a group in their brand new skirts. Um, just about every time I saw someone leave a workshop, it brought me to tears. We had about 30 vendors. Um, uh, the St. Laurent Mall allowed us to, to create a circle of vendors outside. Um, we were able to also create uh, a memorial um, to our missing and murdered women, the women that couldn't be here and, and the women who have passed. That was very important to me, um, to have that in the center of our circle with the women around. And uh, we had the Eastern Doorway in and, and used that. Um, so the venue was super important and, and I really do owe uh, a huge debt to Willis College and the St. Laurent Mall for that.